Yo yo, it is Friday night and I'm headed to a friend's house and I am going to be trying Kin Euphorics for the first time. Been getting hit with their ads for a while. Definitely been looking for an alcohol alternative for a long time. So I'm gonna give it a go tonight, share it with some of my friends, do a taste test, see what they think. Not many of them drink either, so I don't know. See if it's a good alternative. I will give you my very honest thoughts because I just bought it. I've never tried it, so it'll be interesting to see if it's actually legit. Wear your glasses. No, don't do that. Just straight, <laughs> straight off. Right over here, guy. All right, you're, you're really up in my stuff. Okay, welcome. We are going to be testing the Kin Euphorics for the first time. I've never had this before. I've heard very mixed reviews. I'm gonna sip it and see how it tastes. Just tastes pretty bad. It's very tart, mm. very bitter. I'm gonna mix it with some LaCroix. Just get it going. It says not to drink more than four servings of this. So let's just put four <laughs> servings in. It's getting drunk. I'm gonna mix it some more LaCroix. It. See how it goes now. Still pretty bad. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Hopefully it makes me feel good, but we'll find out. All right, we'll check back in in about 20, 30 minutes. We got my man, Andrew, right here. He is gonna give the kin a taste test as well. Go ahead, try it out. Pretty mellow. It tastes earthy. Earthy. Yeah. Earthy. Pinky up. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Earthy. It's earthy. We tried to sweeten it with a little bit of sugar. It's not really working. It's super bitter. We put some ice cubes in it to make it better. I think if you had the right mix, like a juice, something that had sweetness in it, this could be, I don't know, much more appealing. But if it makes me feel good, then it might be worth it. A lot of alcohols taste pretty so maybe it's just an acquired taste. This is how I'm feeling right now in the moment. We'll see how it continues to go as I drink more of it. We are almost to the bottom. We're almost done with the drink. I am definitely feeling, um, I'm definitely <laughs> I am feeling altered for sure. There's like a lightness like in my head, feeling like a little off balance, a little like, I don't know, like slow. <laughs> I can't tell how much I like it or how much I don't like it. How, what do you think? How do you feel? I can't tell. Yeah. It's like after having one beer where you have that light buzz, where yeah. it's you're a little bit slower and you're kind of like, oh, maybe get a two or three more, man. I'll be f***ed up and yeah. like kind of more fluid. You're drunk right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think it's cool. I really wish it tasted better, but I kind of like how I feel. It's good. I would recommend that you give it a try. Yeah, give it a try. If you don't drink alcohol or you're looking for an alternative, I kind of like it. I, I need to find a good mix for it though, that's for sure. Those are my thoughts thus far. We'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so I want to recap my experience with Kin Euphorics. So a couple things that I want to note is that number one, just because you're drinking you know, something that is not alcohol doesn't mean that you don't need to be conscientious of the ingredients and what's actually in it. So definitely check out the warning label and definitely be familiar with the substances that are in this before you consume it. So with that being said, I want to tell you a little bit more about my experience. Number one is if this was mixed with the right sweetener or the right uh, juice, the right mixer, I believe it could taste pretty good. Okay. It tastes pretty bad just on its own. The way it made me feel, I enjoyed the way that it made me feel. I, however, don't like that it has caffeine in it. So like if I'm gonna be drinking at nighttime, that stimulating sort of sensation or effect really messes with my sleep. And if you've watched this channel 
at all, you know, I really care about my sleep. But you know, if you're planning to have a big night out, this could be used to stimulate you. And if you want to be out late, then, you know, that's, there you go. It has caffeine in it. I really wish it didn't have caffeine in it, but I do like the way that it makes me feel. It was an enjoyable experience. When I was trying to go to sleep though, I found it pretty tough to fall asleep. So for that reason, it lost a couple points for me. Something that I also started to notice as the night progressed and as I was just paying attention to the sensations and how I was feeling is there was like a tingling sensation, probably from the niacin. I think that's the niacin that I was feeling. It, it kind of reminds me of like when I used to take pre-workout and go to the gym and you feel this like weird, like it, it doesn't feel like it's burning, but it's a very interesting like tingling sensation. I, I'm not a huge fan of that for, you know, having a good night out. Other than that, the experience overall was positive. I think the way that it makes you feel, it definitely alters your state, alters your mood. And I found myself, yes, being open, yes, being sociable. To me, it seems like something I might use from time to time on rare occasions. Would I recommend it? I'm still on the hunt for the best like alternative, like mood altering substance or thing to do other than drinking that is gonna be a little bit more healthy than drinking. I don't know if this is more healthy than drinking. I just, I, I'm just sharing my experience. So definitely think about like, why are you interested in drinking this? Like, why would you consume it? And for me, it, will be something that I probably use from time to time when I want to have one of those nights. That's not very often for me anymore as I don't really live that type of lifestyle, but it's interesting. It's interesting. I think it's worth trying if you're looking for an alternative to alcohol or something other than alcohol to stimulate you or have a altered experience while you go out. I'm definitely gonna have to give it another go and experiment with it using a proper mix so I can have a better taste experience. Overall, I would give this about a 7.2, 7.3 out of 10. And I think if they improve the taste, they could really move that up quite a bit. So if you found this review helpful, then give it a big thumbs up. If you like health, wellness, biohacking, lifestyle, time freedom, all that type of content, then click the little subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notified. And I will see you in the next video. As always, my name is Kyle Got Camera and be well.